Hello everyone, so yeah, this is Yakuza 0 review by Maxer, Japan Simulator trademark and uh, I didn't actually <laughs> let's go. Three, two, one. There are spoilers in this video. Yakuza right. Zero is a groundbreaking business management and unhinged violence. There are spoilers in this video. Wait a second. Yakuza Zero is a groundbreaking business management. <laughs> okay. and unhinged violence simulator where the player is tasked with the thorough exploration of people's faces using your fists in this oriental inspired entertainment product it's up to you to be dastardly criminals nearly to death manage the economy manage oh women God. as a pimp do oh shit so he's a pimp too it's not it's, it's difficult being a pimp. the yoinky spoinky great pizza to the illiterate and so much more in the backdrop of a murder mystery crime drama incited by rampant real estate speculation we play as the hard-boiled yakuza kiryu zabubafu and goro meningitis as they prowl the streets of that weird city yakuza kiryu zabubafu and goro meningitis as they prowl they find the man pissing <laughs> on the streets of that weird city from Persona 5, along the way doing an excess of justified self-defense mugging to spend their ill-gotten gains on increasingly odd behavior, all in that's nice. That's um, okay. Okay, I want this in my life. An effort to untangle a sinister power struggle taking place within the silly spaghetti people club <laughs> with such esteemed members. <laughs> <laughs> never, never had mafia, uh, <laughs> silly sp Italian mafia as a silly spaghetti. I never heard of the entire <laughs> cast of good. He was kicked too hard and is now in fellows <laughs> and a sundowner from the Metal Goose series. Of course, innocence will become the crossfire. It's an inclusive game. But whether I was on the stage, getting invested in the plot, performing gentrification, or just watching literal in-game pornography, I was always held at the edge of my seat, wondering what could possibly come next. So despite the darkness and absolute certain murder, it maintains a tonal dissonance I can only describe as neck-shattering in a way that is always a breath of fresh air. With all this said and done, oh, I invite lovely. you to enjoy the bizarre world of Yakuza Zero and the thrilling experience of its dimensional karaoke. <laughs> now I understand why Coco loves this thing, used to. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the music makes it so much better. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it makes it the fucking eye patch though! <laughs> I am wanted for l larceny in nine countries. Boy. There is no better place to start than with the various methods we employ to atomize people into their base particles. There's no better place to start than with the various methods we. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's literally trying to explain it with scientific ways of accepting or like proving a hypothesis? We employ to atomize people into their base particles. With two playable characters and eight unique fighting styles, there is always variation. And for the blind people in my audience, Yakuza is a beat-em-up in the most literal sense possible, matching the player against absolute Mongolian hordes of strange characters, such as goons, bikers, your own Yakuza, men in oh. black, and um, oh, Chinese oh, men. Don't worry. <laughs> Chinese men. Wait, goons, what? Men bikers, in black? your own Yakuza, men in black. So there's like mystery stuff. Holy shit, that looks a like dude from GTA San Andreas in the casino. What was his name? The blind motherfucker. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, this looks amazing. And um, Chinese men, don't worry. These delicate hands would never kill anyone unless oh! they don't subscribe. Oh, Ring that like button, smash the bell. We attack using a flurry of different intricate combos to build our <laughs> primordial rage meter, which we use to cause the real damage in the form of hundreds of completely absurd animations ranging oh, from mud jabs to permanent injury and certain oh! death. The beauty of all of this <laughs> is that shit, like the beautiful so and respectable sounding Japanese language, expulsion of our death resource is context sensitive. Sensitive, with possibly hundreds of different, entirely unique animations, all dedicated to Kiryu's never-ending war on bones. Are you carrying a giant cup? <laughs> Never go full retard, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's an animation. Are you near a ledge on this one level with Mato Worry? Or maybe you just have a box. Serve oh that shit God. up faster than FedEx. Every single takedown is this great. <laughs> 
Tuitously <laughs> violent, but don't worry, neither of our characters canonically kill anyone. We just <laughs> <laughs> Give them lifelong disabilities that are worse than death. Since I'm feeling generous, let's talk about exactly how. Playing as Kiryu Kazoo, our fighting styles consist of The Brawler, a classic, fast-moving fighting style focused on replicating the police experience. Rush out. Oh my god. <laughs> a quick attacking and dodge heavy moveset well suited <laughs> to cowards and monkey mode. That evasion, what the fuck is that? Which instantly adds several hundred pounds of muscle mass that you then have to drag around. It's not very good. Switching to our next character, Pirate Captain Goro Majima gives us the funky styles. As a oh, thug, yeah. we have a wide range of generic moves oh, and the fucking so neck snapping I power. It. I don't think they're going to get back up. As a breakdancer, yes, a breakdancer, we sacrifice takedowns for style in the most absurd and flashy <laughs> way possible. And as a slugger, we <laughs> This reminds me of Eddie, was it Eddie Young from Taken? The, the yellow, uh, the yellow jumpsuit black dude who was just doing gymnastics in the middle of the fucking fight and was destroyed. Cheat by pulling out the fucking baseball bat and wield it like nunchucks, <laughs> letting us hit quite hard and exploit every boss in the game. He just can't uh, do anything. On top of this, there are two secret fighting styles normally completely inaccessible to the player, and unfortunately, oh. the process for their acquisition is very interesting. One might say Ooh. physically painful. But how? How? But what about otakus or what about hentai lovers such as myself? Is it as early as painful? chapter seven? You're given the business opportunity of establishing a. What the fuck was it? What about physically not painful? Not as early as chapter seven, you're given the business. Op Oh, businessman killing them. To be establishing a whore monopoly, and Majima takes it with great enthusiasm. <laughs> to unlock the final fighting style, we will have to run our cabaret club well enough to unseat the five prostitution daimyo of Japan. It'll be a fun side quest, I told really? myself, just like Stop. Oblivion. That's a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> it is very, very, <laughs> it is a very fun game. Yeah, and I have that shit as my intro, if you didn't know. Oh god, I have to speak to women. That's, 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 oh my god, that's so interesting. Oh yes, holy shit, look at them. Oh my god, oh my god. There are many ways yes. to run a high society cabaret club, like abuse, but a true manager of a great establishment has Jesus many factors Christ. to consider. Contrary to- the, the violence is just brilliant. The fucking blood gushing, the net neck breaking, the gymnastic kicking. Popular belief, all women are different, but like the caste system, all people can be classified. Our objective is to keep the customer as happy as possible by balancing our women's specialization. So you literally are a pimp. Okay, okay. Some girls are cute. <laughs> of course, bottom and Russia. Yeah. The flat and the sheep. Others are great at conversation, and some are skilled. Akina has a degree in bio. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Medical engineering. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Poor patrons like me. <laughs> what was that? Was that from Left 4 Dead? Team Fortress, I assume. Have very low expectations and can be pleased with rubbing rocks Kitchen together, online. while wealthy patrons have refined tastes like Ooh. physical and mental. Oh my god, look at that dress. Yes, yes, yes. Abuse. Every employee has their limits, and it's up to you to stretch them as far as possible. Really awesome. Truly, we are the Bezos of Cabaret. Now, if. <laughs> yeah. If you'll excuse me, I'll be attending the poor people hunt. Of course. <laughs> Yes, as a proper host, it's up to you to attend to every customer, whereupon things go from relaxing to batshit. Every time you wait a table, you'll receive a cryptic hand signal from the girl. Ooh. Oh shit, this is interesting. Which tells you what the customer desires. And if you want to please them, you better remember all of them. What the f fuck? Me. So you need to know sign language. Fuck, are you trying to say I, I don't know? Uh. <laughs> what is. What the fuck is that? <laughs> He's into ball play, bro. I'll be back with a gun. And just in case this wasn't <laughs> painful, every time you go to a new table, the game will throw a fucking flashbang. So over the course really? of a never-ending grind, I was given the most painful migraine I will ever get in my life. This screen and this music inspire my killing urges. But <laughs> so game makes you violent by playing it, and then you can just let out your violence in the game. That's that's genius. The way, this game is a beat -em up so to conclude our cabaret adventure, our reward is the mad dog style, which allows you to wield a knife and sprint. Oh, 
my god! It's fucking breakneck velocity, striking your foes like a cracked up Doberman and unlocking takedowns that straight up <laughs> kill people. Oh, fuck. A cracked up Doberman. It looks pretty sharp anyway. Pretty accurate. Good luck playing with the knife style is absolutely oh an experience, one that insane. I would never repeat ever again. So when I heard that unlocking the other secret style involved eight hours of the real estate quest, I probably oh had a PTSD God. attack. <laughs> Kiryu is going to have to do without the poopy poopy farto style. I have a fucking fish to feed. Take my advice. Yakuza Zero has a lot of side content, and if you have what? to be a good what the fuck was advice. that? Yakuza Zero has a lot of <laughs> who the is that? Les? Who the side fuck is that? It's Steven Spining. I'm Mr. Spining, the director. Okay. Content. And if you happen to be a completionist. He reference to the completionist. Okay, this video has become the best thing I ever watched on this fucking Zero channel. Because Zero has a lot of side content, and if you happen to be a completionist, the Gerard the completionist is one of the best people I know. Holy shit, love it, love Gerard. Stay away, or you might just be locked in the Facebook game for three days. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be spending the rest of my day betting on domestic violence. <laughs> Why? Stop censoring shit! Come on. How to spend money very reasonably. Jesus Christ. Jesus, what do you mean? You know, when I first played this game, I expected brutal combat. I expected silly takedowns. But what I didn't expect was the hour I spent with the claw machine. Oh my god. Yes. So you can do that without paying shit. <laughs> I'm having a fucking blast. I <laughs> I, I think I need to play pool for three hours, but they just put it in. And let me tell you, nothing sells the fictional world of Japan better than a good night on the town. So at this point, I started wondering what kind of game I was actually playing. It turns out that Yakuza Zero is a lot like reality. You always need more money, mostly for upgrades where you inject money. What about if you use cheat engine? Can you do that? I probably can't do that with some memory injection. <laughs> directly into your arms and collect every vaccine. But secondarily, healthcare never comes free. So every <laughs> <laughs> fucking laughs in, in America. Every time chef. you take damage, you're gonna have to consume. That's sad and fucked up, though. <laughs> the void inside, or alternatively, carry thousands of dollars in medicine. There is no limit to juicing. It's no exaggeration to say that Yakuza's difficulty depends entirely on how much of a sigma male you are. Here you might not get any pussy, but he is getting paid. You might think that beating up the homeless. <laughs> Bike, is the way to go, but that is for babies. If you want to make the real dough, you'll have to risk it all on gambling. Oh, yes, 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 More yes, specifically, yes, yes. betting on scantily clad women beating each other half to death. And because of the copyright music and interesting visuals, putting this in my video represents me betting my real income. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Majima, yeah, I however, get it. never has money problems because his cabaret pays him several billion yen. The entire plot of the game happens because we're fighting over one tenth of that. So it's a shame that I lost all of it. Yes, all ten billion of it because I was robbed by a man with fucking orangutan strength. This is Mr. <laughs> Shakedown. Shake what is it? It's that. These edits are just too crazy in, in a very short period of time, man. And if you ever encounter him, run. It doesn't matter how much you have. It doesn't matter how long you've spent getting it. If you lose to Mr. Shakedown, he will take all 10 billion of it. Fuck that! And then disappear to somewhere. So if you want a cent of that back, you better go find him, uh, eventually. <laughs> That's pretty bad, but my- <laughs> He will take- <laughs> No shit! <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm All out, that's amazing, look at it! Look at that, so well So if you want done. the scent of that bag, you better go find- <laughs> <laughs> No, that's so- That's so good! Him. What the fuck? Uh, eventually, that's pretty bad. But like all human suffering, this can become a business opportunity. You see, Mr. Shakedown is actually a form of banking. Whatever amount he robs from you, the game will add 15% more. Meaning, if you're up for the challenge of defeating Harambe, the returns are worth it. At least with this method, your money doesn't vanish into the void of... <laughs> Of course, that isn't always a bad thing. There's a lot of places to spend our okay. money, and most of them are fun. A little too fun, actually. Okay. I don't want to have to read the fucking phone book to play some goddamn Chinese song. 
solitaire. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I bet it's not Solitaire. Tabletop Simulator, never heard of it. The only game I play is Eels and Escalators. What I'm trying to say... <laughs> I played this shit when I was like five. Come on, man. Is, this is a rabbit hole. A Peco, peco, peco. Good one. My personal favorite was getting addicted to the bowling minigame and then winning the chicken, who doubles as a financial advisor. What? What? Sir, Yakuza is not. Uh, 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 what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's like a fetish. But this is like a very disturbing fetish. I think my mind just stopped working. Because it is a squid game looks looks like it not meant to be questioned. This could <laughs> and, and that is the <laughs> and the wackiest game. That honor goes to the phone dating, which takes the form of a shooter. Yes, like Call of Duty. To win a date with the girl of our dreams, we are going to have to pick the right responses from a wide variety of options, most of which are insane, like inviting a girl to fight a marsupial. Just go punch kangaroos. <laughs> For Why? some reason, women don't like that, but the best <laughs> no possible outings lean heavily on this game's amazing soundtrack, which features a number of beautiful karaoke themes, stylish disco tracks, and stellar emotional ballads. <laughs> We're from the atmosphere instead of the ad. Ad but... I am of course talking about the karaoke and the dancing, which are both incredible in their style and creativity. They are so out there, so truthful, and sound so good that I just uh, couldn't get enough of it. In sh I, I, you, sh you showed me like a, sp a small amount of it, and I fucking, I'm loving George, it. they're everything a dance should be. This scene tells me more about Majima than an entire Hideo Kojima script. Kiryu huh. has never killed anyone, but let me tell you, this man knows how to murder a dance floor. That's brilliant! <laughs> I think I don't have enough breath for laughing anymore. <laughs> it's so violent, but it's so good with the music. It's so good. Oh my god, fuck that. <laughs> Are you serious? That fucking Max Payne shot, but okay, that's brilliant. Questioning, questioning, mm, question with the beast in. And yet, that's not even half the fun, because Yakuza 0 contains an array of interesting, meaningful, and necessary side quests, which allow oh, yes. the player to engage in a variety of small stories, ranging from pizza delivery to replacing a phone battery. Fubuki. <laughs> That's related to Fubuki. That one's a little boring. You can even roleplay as a Persona fan by following a child around the city. Often, these quests will have entirely unique fights and challenges, accompanied by complex moral judgment and logic puzzles. In one instance, I was given the task of infiltrating the cult of Munan Cho Hept Onas, whereupon I had to learn the practice of Shura Pee Pee. <laughs> The acquisition of Cool Lipos and the greeting of Munancho, at which point the game tested me on their exact definitions. I promptly beat their leader to death. In another instance, Kiryu teams up with the famous movie director, Steven Spinning. Get it, I get it, fucking Jesus known Christ. Known for his hit film, Indian Jeans. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. It's so good though. Like, I mean, you, you, I mean uh, uh, mm. to complete a music video with famous international pop, <laughs> pop star Miracle Johnson, I was hired to. To beat the extras to death. Now that I think about it, every side quest ends with a trip to the hospital. Except for the pizza one. That ends in love. Yeah. It's not delivery, oh, it's too it short, no. This stands in stark contrast to the actual plot of the game, which is played completely straight. Taking everything I've said before into account, you might think this is weird, and some times it is one day you might be saving a helpless blind woman and the next abandoning her so you can play idol master for several days i'm 
sure that she'll be just fine. But funny anecdotes aside, there is an abundance of real drama and emotion here. Of all the things I expect. said before into account, you might think this is weird, and sometimes it is. One day, you might be saving a helpless blind woman, and the next, abandoning her so you can play, play Idolmaster. So, wait. You can play these Idolmaster character collection games on your phone in the game? Or it's like a mini game of some sort again? Because I played some Idol Master on my phone back in the years of days. For several days, I'm sure that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes other fans be like that. She'll be just fine. But funny anecdotes aside, there is an abundance of real drama and emotion here. Of all the things really? I expected this game to be, sad was not one of them. Hmm. Neither did I expect a believable love story or the murder mystery. This game is downright determined to constantly surprise you, ah. even if it has to stop making sense. In Majima's story, we are sent to kill a buff Chinese man before fighting him, teaming up with him to save the innocent, and then fighting him again, but I changed my mind. This exact arc happens with three separate characters, and that's just Majima's story. In fact, despite the game being called Yaku- I'm a <laughs> Barbie zero. Fuck me. leaves the family. This dude is so good with memes and like otaku ones and non otaku ones, and of course someone said yeah politics. Of course, yeah, he's he's, he's amazing. In chapter one, <laughs> then he fucking rejoins it. Every antagonist has so much goddamn personality that you just don't know when you're gonna be friends with them. Every man is vying for power and control, but each does it for their own distinct reasons. Awano is a Genshin Impact player who only desires money and women. Kuze is a boxer who wants to fight a lot. Shibusawa is obsessed with power, and Nishitani is the Joker. Enemies become friends, friends become enemies, and Kuze will not leave me alone. The only character who is actually not interesting is essentially Chinese Spider-Man. Just jump. It's not gonna hurt your knees. Just jump from the fuck. What? The Holy fuck shit. Was that? Whose defining feature is that he's ugly. Unless you play the Chinese oh, no, version of the game. Oh! Then oh, he's weirdly man. handsome and also on the cover. Oh my god. He's like the fucking. Chinese hitman. But even when playing in the most serious of circumstances, the game still catches you off guard. A tense deal with a Yakuza boss can change seemingly at random into a ridiculous combat encounter fighting 90 enraged apes. <laughs> or in the case of Majima, a visit to the CIA becoming a fever dream in which you have to fight what? the buff crossdresser. <laughs> That's so fucking amazing and weird. The fuck? Oh my god. The game cares more about good gameplay and fun story than actually making sense. It's quite refreshing. When uh -huh. Yakuza gets serious, it really means something. And when it's being silly, it's absolutely cathartic. <laughs> Everything <laughs> has impact. Unless it's a gun. We haven't killed anyone, by the way. All in all, Yakuza is more true to life than any other game I've ever played. Not by making sense or being realistic, but emotionally. Kind of reminds me of Saintro. But like the Western version of Yakuza with the Saints Row, it's not trying to be like make sense and be realistic and all. It's just trying to make you have some fucking fun. At the beginning of this game, Kiryu is just kind of a cool buff guy. But after exploring his friendships, seeing him have fun and just interacting with people, I realized that this is much more. So when things take a bad turn and we're at our lowest point, you really feel it more than almost any other game. Yakuza is about life, with all the beautiful ecstasy, awful tragedy, and everything in between. Fights are never just fun in Yakuza. They can be comedic, cathartic, or just really goddamn cool. Activities make you feel like a part of the world, and every cutscene is filled with emotion and personality. When I first played, I thought that Yakuza was all over the place, that it was somehow messy. But now I realize that life is fucking messy, yeah. and that's okay. I want to thank all of the Yakuza bosses who are using my channel to launder money. Kind of like a pizza joint in New York City. <laughs> it's traceable, dude. You can't, you can't launder money with Patreon. If you want to contribute towards the channel and facilitate all of our questionable activities, then I recommend taking a look at my Patreon down below. Thank all of you for watching and waiting. And of course, don't try to escape. <laughs> 
I love it. I want to play this game. Is it on Windows? Yakuza 0. Um, it's, yeah, it's on Microsoft Windows. Holy shit, is it on Steam? Steam. Yes, well, see you later.